You're watching Tips News this hour. We begin with the meeting between resident doctors and the federal government on Friday. The meeting, which ran into late hours, had the Minister of Labor and Employment, Chris Ngige, the Minister of State for Health and Affiliate Associations of the Nigerian Medical Association and the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors in attendance. Dr. Chris Ngige said the meeting was called at President Mohamed Buhari's order, as it is his desire that the strike be called off immediately. A correspondent, Jakia Desa, reports. It's been 20 days now since activities across government hospitals nationwide have been paralyzed owing to the resumed strike by resident doctors. Patients have borne the brunt with the lives of many who cannot afford private hospitals lost in the process. A series of meetings between resident doctors and the authorities have ended in deadlock. Now, the chickens have come home to roost as all parties meet again. Labor and Employment Minister Chris Ngige says this expanded meeting was at the behest of President Muhammadu Buhari. Chris Ngige says it is the president's desire that a strike be immediately called off. He also wants the doctors to put the nation first a view echoed by the Minister of State for Health. Mr. President takes this meeting very serious. Today is the son's wedding in Kanu, but he gave me permission to bring ministers and all government officials, some of them who have, who have been in Kanu, they are here, so that we can do this discussion. And he can be. Mine is to just once again appeal, come back to the negotiating table, <laughs> and sustain the engagement, the conversation. As far as I'm concerned, it's the only way to go. The enemy president accuses government of not honoring agreements freely entered into, a position the minister disagrees with. A new environment must be created. We cannot pretend that all is well. We are not even asking for too much. We are asking for the basic minimum. Make sure that the patients have adequate facility to treat our patient. The government dragged the resident doctors to the National Industrial Court for an injunction to restrain them. It also issued a no-work, no-pay directive. But the court adjourned hearing in the case to September 15. Among the doctors' demands are funding for residency training, withdrawal of the secular, directing the removal of house officers from the scheme of service, and payment of over 5.5 billion naira in salary arrears, including arrears of consequential adjustment of minimum wage. After a series of meetings among all parties concerned, the expectation is that this meeting, which has now entered into a technical session, will produce good fruits in the interest of the sovereign populace. Jokia TVC News, Abuja.